today it's all about clear, dewy skin as we're getting into the summer because we can feel it in the air. Now later we're going to talk about various products including cheap homemade ones as well that will really put that bloom into your cheeks. But first, medicinal chef Dale Pennock is here with us and he's got recipes to eat your way to glowing healthy skin. Of course, we always hear Dale, don't we, that <laughs> beauty is from the inside Starts out. Starts within, absolutely. So it's really, really important to, to eat really well for your skin. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What should we be looking at for type of nutrients? First important group are the antioxidants. I should imagine everyone's heard of antioxidants by now. They've been a real buzzword for such a long time. Things like vitamin C, etc. The important thing to remember, though, for skin health is not all antioxidants work on the skin. Oh, really? We actually need ones that are fat-soluble. So they will naturally move into the subcutaneous layer of the skin, the fatty layer of the skin, and actually protect the collagen in there from damage. Okay, so vitamin C is not fat soluble. No, I mean that's great for the cardiovascular system, but it's water soluble. Okay, so yeah, vitamin E is fat soluble. That means it stores yep, itself in your Exactly, skin, it will isn't naturally it? move into fatty tissues. Okay, and beta carotene as well, would that be? Beta fat carotene, soluble? all okay. the carotenoids, those bright orange and red and yellow colours. Oh, that's what we're always told to go for that. And actually that brings us very nicely on it to peppers, does. which we're going to cook with. Tell mm -hmm. us how great peppers are. Right, well, red peppers, that red colour, that deep red colour that you see. That is a real high concentration of the carotenoids. Okay. Okay. So that's like the plant form of vitamin A, really. Also, there's compounds in there called flavonoids that can really benefit the skin as well, reduce aging. Now, so. when we're picking out, I never really know what to go for. I see red peppers, green peppers, mm -hmm. and yellow peppers. And when I see red peppers, should I go for the lighter ones or the darker ones? Hey, the darker, the better. The darker it is, the higher the concentration of the, um, of the actual actives. Okay, so they work on your skin to boost your Yeah, those, the those, skin. those compounds, they will just start to naturally move into that fatty layer of the skin. And the collagen, like the matrix that holds the skin together, gives it its structure. Okay. That's where its roots are. And Lovely, so it's good for, for, for plumping up your skin yeah, and keeping yeah, it totally. here. Now, another superfood that we like to talk about a lot here is sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Again, that vivid orange colour, that's the beta carotene. Okay. Really, really high concentration. And it tastes amazing too. Okay, so what are we going to make for this? We're going to do a proper pepper soup. Okay, and also we're going to talk about these two in a second. We're yep. going to talk about, well, I just mentioned first what they are. This is an artichoke. Yes. Globe artichoke. Globe artichokes. What's so great about that? Um, actually works on liver function, increases the production of bile, so that helps with fat absorption. Okay, and the olives, well, we all know olives are good and they have a lot of, uh, a, a lot a, of a fatty fats acids. in there, but also they help with fat absorption as well. Okay, so we're going to make that, you know, make it a kind of a hummus type thing, is mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Okay, Absolutely. very good. Let's get on with the soup first. Right, Shall okay. I assist you, you? I just need the garlic and the onions. Okay. And just one All right. So, some red onion straight in. It's one clove of garlic in there as well. Now, onions are very good for allergies, you were saying. Yeah, now red onions in particular, they contain a compound called quercetin. Quercetin. Yeah, and uh, you might have even seen that in like supplement form. Quercetin basically reduces histamine. Oh, I see. Now, all of these kind of um, allergic responses like hay fever, um, asthma, eczema, they're all basically stem from histamine release in tissues, irritating the tissues. And garlic is antiviral and antifungal, isn't it? It certainly is. But also in onions, you've got a lot of uh, silica, which, which actually helps to benefit the skin. Which is great your hair and your nails. Yeah, and sulphur, oh. so that helps to strengthen connective tissues. Okay. So, so really we should be eating these all the time? Yeah, absolutely. So basically you just sweat those down until the onion's starting to soften. The next thing to go in will be the red peppers. Okay. This. And you want to keep those moving for a few minutes. So just roughly chopped there, isn't it? Absolutely, because it's all going to be blended up anyway. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, they'll, literally you'll just go until the peppers start to soften. Then at that point, sweet potatoes in. These will give, like, the thickness, the velvetiness to the soup. Okay. And then literally at that point, what we'll be doing is covering it with a vegetable stock. And then you'll just simmer it down. For until how long would you until the sweet potato starts to soften. Okay. Then blend. Then blend. And you blend in this. We won't do that because you've made some already. I've Can made I taste some here it? for you, yeah, absolutely. Put this out of the way for it. Now, I hope this tastes good because, you know, a, a lot of these things I always feel might taste so nice. No. Well, you have to be honest, though. I'm sure you'll like it. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. Well, I do like sweet potato. That's lovely. And it feels like there's something else in. Did you flavour it with anything else? No, it's just that just amalgamation of flavours, yeah. So peppers, um, so gar yeah. garlic and red onion, yeah. season it at that so, point yeah. as well to pull the garlic out, mm. and then simple it's as that. It's amazing, I love yeah. it. Okay, one pot let's wonder. make the next one. Now, this right. is kind of, it looks like a kind of a hummus type it thing. It certainly does. The next important mm -hmm. group of nutrients you need to focus on for skin health is the essential fatty acids. 
because those fats actually help the skin to retain moisture. They're naturally anti-inflammatory, so any lesions like psoriasis, eczema, helps to tone it down. Excellent. Also, yeah, it just keeps the skin nice and soft and supple. And as you said, very good for the liver, these glow yeah. artichokes they were going That's to the other issue. You need to actually be able to absorb these fats properly. Okay. So are these just cut up? Yep, it's just like um, artichoke heart. Basically, this contains a compound called caffeoquinic acid. Try mm -hmm. saying that backwards. Um, <laughs> and that increases the release of bile. Bile helps the body to absorb fat. So it helps to get these good fats in there. So I've got some olives in there as well. What is this you're putting This in? is an essential fatty acid blend, different seed oils designed to okay, so you can just keep the skin there. healthy. Yep, good glug of that in there. Garlic because there's not enough garlic used already today. <laughs> you know that in there? I was just reading a report earlier on as well about blueberries and how they're so good for your skin, but also the anti-cancers and very good for skin yeah, health. Yeah, a lot of actually interesting data about blueberries and the health of the brain and nervous system as well. Okay. And actually helping to... Uh, and they're the highest um, level of, of antioxidants in a berry. In blueberries. They're among, yeah, they're, they're among the, the, the highest, yeah. Okay. So you just whiz it up. So yeah, just literally... <laughs> whiz it up. Won't bore you with that. Got some made there. Okay, let's Boys try, to try this. Okay. Mm, grab that spoon. Okay, so I can try this, and this is it, just in a kind of a little hummusy type vibe. Yeah. I have to say, I don't like olives. I like olive oil, but I don't like olives. Does that make sense? No. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just olive, garlic. Artichokes. Can you use tend? Tend artichokes. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Mm. It is actually a little bit easier because they do take a fair yeah, bit of If you really bit. like olives, you really like olives. <laughs> it's a bit like a tapenade. <laughs> yeah. No, it's lovely. It's good stuff, huh? It's different. I like. To, I love the garlicky zing so in it as well. supplying you with those good fats, but also helping your body to take them in and utilise them properly as well. Excellent work. Okay, Dale, thank you so much. Now, Dale, Pleasure. you want to stay with us? I am indeed. Answering lots of questions from yep. everyone later on. It is hay fever season. It has kind of kicked in. So do get your questions into us for Dale for a little bit later on. And those lovely recipes we made there, they're on our website on the Airtel page. 340.